What's going down AMD family and I'm going to go ahead and showcase what you can do with your GPU for overclocking. For everyone that's been utilizing the AMD Adrenaline software, they're going to get a better look at what they can and cannot do with their GPU. Now this will be limited to your climate. If you have a lot of hot days, you're going to have to change your settings. If you have colder days, you can push your settings. And it just depends also on the ventilation inside of your room. Is it dissipating the hot heat? These are questions you should be asking in order to have optimal GPU performance without wondering why am I losing an FPS here and there or having performance issues from day to day performance. So my name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel. If you're brand new, definitely hit that subscription button in company with the notification bell and get ready for some really cool segments for AMD overclocking. So we're here. We're in the UI, and a majority of this is gonna be taking place for as far as showing what is going on over here, and then we're gonna show some very quick DirectX 11, bare 1080p, and we're gonna size up two scores to show you the difference between non-overclocked and overclocked and what you can and cannot gain. For as far as the maximum portion, sometimes you can push it, but it will falter and I'll show you one that I think that will be probably optimal kind of if you were in Alaska but it's not as optimal as you would get if you tuned it down just a little bit and followed the AMD undervolt technique so with that being said the resize bar that is if you have two of them together so if you're trying to run physics it's going to be able to detect that now you're, what you're normally going to walk up to is this and it's going to be an auto tune now you can very easily go to a stress test to figure out if anything is going to go wrong before running it on a game. It's kind of one of the core features that they added on later on down the road. Now, for as far as the apply and unapply, you can have certain situations for as far as the overclocking. When you have the just automated, you can go to undervolt, overclock, and virtual RAM all going to be synced up. Now, with mine, luckily, I have a ton of virtual RAM. And not a lot of people probably will be able to get away with this as I kind of go ahead and scoot a little bit farther over here to show you what I mean by it. I can physically turn this all the way up, flip that over, and see if we get some advanced controls up to 1200. That's kind of crazy. But, you know, I have a lot of virtual RAM on my Radeon 7. Moving on past that, now you can go to some other settings right here. I personally just leave it on automatic. I know there are some advantages to that depending on what you're running. Now, this seems to be one of the more complex parts right here is the GPU tuning. I feel like if we knock this out right now, it'll be a little bit more enjoyable to size up the fan and the power tuning because those are so freaking simple. So we've already virtually knocked out the RAM, right? And now we want to see, well, how fast can we make this like little die run inside of our processing point and as i kind of come a little bit closer voltage is one of the bigger things that you can increase and this will increase your temperature now personally myself if i'm trying to make something run really like just say for instance it's having power issues where it's like baselining on the power line and you know you've turned up the power limit and you're like you know what i just want to make you move regardless that's what i turn up and it raises this bar right here, which is the bottom out. So think of it like inside of a car, you're adding more gas and it's just an idle a lot higher in that situation. That's your baseline for as far as that. Now, this is going to be more of the core portion, which is your the hump, that hump day. It makes a big difference when you got like 920, give or take, or something right around like, you know, 910, something around there. That's actually pretty optimal. I go with 921. Sometimes it kind of gives it a nice little uplift and you can always change that down and it keeps the arc right there. Now, this has been suggested to me as a safe set by community members and they love it for as far as, now we're gonna bring back that 35 that went up and you have to pay attention. Sometimes with what's going down with AMD, it will very well change. Now, as you can see right here, this is a dialed in overset for overclocking that I would personally recommend myself. And I have had this work time and time again. Now, what I have personally gotten to my own favoring point, which I can utilize in the time and the temperature climate that I'm in right now, which is not this, but personally myself, I go with this mixture. 
this will pretty much knock out dynamite stuff if it's in a colder climate but if in for a reason between both of those what i have found in my die set for as far as the vegas series and the radeon 7 is that you can definitely get away with this and accompanied with this and that actually has a great combo with longevity without having any issues of power, it being consistent and not overheating the die. Now, again, you're gonna have to click a lot of this stuff just to get out of it, but there we go. Fans full blast, power tuning now. You can just go ahead and say, sure, why not? Do what you need to. Now, normally you would undervolt and you can if you're running into some like power consumption but amd is very sensitive sometimes with this stuff so i actually do like to run this and just undervolt it here in the voltage settings rather than here so you're telling it hey run as hard as you possibly can but i'm limiting you over here to running the instructions of the um os i want you to run into so once you have all that situations you're going to have it all apply it's going to be great and we see that everything's working. So let's run some tests and see exactly how well we've sized up. Cool. So after we've basically ran our awesome overclock, you can see that we're sitting in a very nice almost 2100. Now our best was at 23, 3333. 33. Now we can do one more overclock that I know that will basically kind of work efficient but it only works efficient in certain climates so you have to be aware sometimes things don't always pan out the way you want them to so we're back over here and what i've changed is literally the frequency and the voltage we're giving it more voltage and we're changing the frequency to be a little bit more reactive with that we're going to go ahead and shut down we're going to go ahead and back out and we're going to go ahead and run the same test and see what the results are we're going to match that up against what the normal one was versus this versus the very first score of what we basically had with the patch notes, which I recommend to check out for the new AMD Adrenaline software of the 21.6.2. But let's go ahead and pop back in when it's done. And there you go. We can basically see that it's some increasement has happened. We've hit the 2100 club with some fixed 50 for as far as the extra points of performance now what would happen if we went even farther i've stretched it before to the 2000 band and added some voltage but the performance starts to drop a lot because of the heat dissipation and what you're basically looking at when you're pulling up the whole layout is what you want to make sure is happening and this is what i've always noticed these temperatures right here junction and current temperature Current temperature, if it starts to succeed, like almost like pretty much like 70s, mid 70s inside of Celsius, you want to start dropping it. And sometimes you'll see where the junction temperature may jump up to like almost close to like 108, 110. And if it sinks below like to like 105, 103, it's not too bad. Junction versus like your current temperature are completely two different things. So you want to try to get right in the ballpark around 76 to like 73. Now, 59 to 63 is ideal. When temperatures are like that, your GPU will run extraordinarily optimal with an overclock. So, I hope this has given you a better expansion on how to utilize the adrenaline software. I know sometimes it can be a little confusing, and you will have to change these values as long as you don't exceed too much of the bandwidth for, for instance mine where it has 22 on the megahertz i can shrink that within that 2000 band and again you can always reference that by looking it up online and seeing what other people have tried in combinations with your specific gpu but for future content i would definitely recommend subscribing it's absolutely free it helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows maybe you will become a master overclocker and learn a thing or two that will push your gameplay into the next level without physically having to spend more money on another gpu that's the whole goal here to help people get more bang for their buck out of the technology that they have already installed inside of their hardware rig so everyone have a very nice day stay safe stay classy and i'll see you there for more future content in tech 
and tech-related news.